everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we are continuing our adventures with the HP Chrome Box. And now I've got it opened up, and I'm going to show you what's inside. And the reason why I'm doing this video now is that our transition to XBMC requires me to take this thing apart and remove a screw that uh, prevents me from writing new firmware to the device. So uh, I've got the, uh, the case open right now. You basically take the little rubber feet off the bottom here, and then you... Uh, can pull off the rest. And I've got a, a metal shield here that I have to remove next so that we can get at some stuff underneath. So I'm going to take this off and we'll see what's inside and what makes this thing tick. All right, we've got the Chrome box opened up. So let's have a look inside. Thankfully, the things that you'd want to replace are on the top. So uh, the processor and some of the other guts are underneath. Uh, but the most important things, the RAM and the hard drive, are accessible on the top of the board. Now, where this differs from uh, the Asus Chrome box is that the Asus Chrome box actually has two areas for the socketed RAM chips here. The HP Chrome box just has one. Uh, I've been hearing from a lot of people on my YouTube channel, both on the Asus and on the HP, that you can swap this RAM out and put in more. One viewer uh, was able to get uh, 10 gigs on his uh, on his Asus Chrome box, which is pretty cool. So on this one, you'll have to put in a single module. Make sure you get the right kind. It is labeled here. Um, it's, uh, I can't read the whole thing. I have to pull off another label, and I'm not uh, properly grounded at the moment, so I'm going to avoid doing that. But uh, you can uh, swap it out. I'm sure there's some information online on what RAM is appropriate. Here is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth radio, and beneath that is a tiny little mSATA uh, SSD. This is a 16 gigabyte mSATA, but I'd imagine you could put on a larger one. Uh, one other thing of note here is this screw right there uh, is the screw that we need to remove uh, to get rid of the firmware write protection, which then opens this box up to a whole lot more stuff. I've never seen something actually secured with a screw. I usually see like a jumper or something like that, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, so that's your look inside the HP Chrome box, and I'm going to continue my work on this as I'm getting ready to install Open Elec on it. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.